Hi everyone, welcome to the session on Python basics where we'll learn about the Python NumPy unique method. The Python uh, NumPy unique method, it helps to find the unique elements of an array and as you can see the syntax is numpy.unique and inside this we need to pass five parameters. As you can see here the NumPy unique, uh, the syntax of NumPy unique is like uh, as follows numpy.unique and inside the function we can uh, pass five different parameters of which only the array need to be passed by the rest all of them are not mandated now in this out of these the three parameters like return index return inverse and return counts these are really important and it will help us to achieve major uh, requirements whatever we are looking for so first of all uh, the return inverse okay what it will do return inverse it will return the indices of an input array that give the unique values and uh, return index will give the will throw the or will return the indices of the unique array that reconstruct the input array and return count will return the number of time each values come up in the input array so let's start so first of all if you see here this is my uh, this is my i'm importing the numpy package and after that i'm just creating a simple 1d array simple okay and after this if i simply want to apply the unique method then say np dot unique and then I'll pass only the input param uh, array and nothing else of those five uh, four five parameter not passing anything else. we get this like what is my or uh, what are my elements the unique elements in the sorted uh, order okay similarly if this is my 2d array and if I apply np dot unique on this array so this will be my values like all my unique values it will be through what if the third task is like what if the unique function i want to pass the return index okay so how do we use that so i already have my x is my array and if i pass np dot unique and inside this x will pass okay so this now what if i if i pass here np dot unique will pass the input array and will give re return index i will pass return you return underscore index is equal to true so if you see here it will pass two array one array is the normal array and then after that it will pass us the uh, the position of each value now the position this is my indices okay and this is zero position one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so zero has the index the very first occurrence of zero in this array is at the 13th position now if you take one one occurs in the zero position and the very first occurrence of two is at the first position now coming for uh, for three three will occur where Z zero one two three four five so the item third occurs at the fifth position and then four four is at the end okay so that's why it is showing here 14 item four is occurring at the 14th position similarly 25 and 125 will occur at the 10th and 11th position like 525 and 125 will occur at the 9th, 10th and 11th position. So I believe this is pretty simple. Now, what if I want to apply this on a two dimensional array? So this is my two dimensional array and then I will pass np dot unique. I will say pass comma. In case of two dimensional array, okay, and what it will do? First of all, it will get me the what is the position of zero because it will ultimately it will sort the values right so they, these are my unique uh, items present in the array zero so zero position is zero one two three so it's three now if you take one one is where zero one two okay so it's two if you take talk about two this value two two is zero one okay it's one now then we come at three so it will be zero one two three four five six and this seven it is actually considering this as a single 1d array okay just you take five two one zero four one and two three eight and then you can understand talking about the last value eight index position will be eight so that's why this value here is eight. after this task number five is to return index in 1d array with axis is one or zero how it will behave let's see let's say np dot unique will pass x comma x is equals to 1 okay so it says x is out uh, x is 1 is out of bound for 1d array now what if we pass here 0 so for 0 it's simple it will give, give you this value now what are if 
okay i have already shown okay here with access zero it works like this and with uh, if i simply copy paste here this it will not work with access is equal to one so if you see here this is the value and so the occurrence of uh, zero is 13 position one is uh, zero so i've already explained this now after this task seven is done task task eight is uh, six is done task number seven is to return index in an in a 2d array with access equal to one so we'll say np dot unique 2d arrays by comma return index is equal to true comma access is equals to one so this is what we will get if, and what if we pass here so this is the output of uh, x uh, like return index for a two dimensional array with x is equal to one and what if we pass here x is equal to zero after this task number nine is to return count parameter with 1d array so so this is my array and if i say np dot unique okay x comma return is equal to true so if you can see here zero the has occurred one time one has occurred three times two has occurred one two three four four times okay three has occurred uh, one time five occurred uh, one time 25 has occurred two times and 125 occurs one time so uh, x underscore return count will actually return the counts now similar thing will apply it with the two dimensional array so if you can see here this is my y and this is my in this case also it will do the occurrence of zero is how much one time occurrence of uh, one is first it will get the unit item and then it will sort uh, one occurred two times two has occurred two times then three five eight has occurred one one time so, so that's it in this way three five eight has occurred one time three four five eight has occurred one one time after this we'll see uh, the return count and return index will pass both so this is my initial array and then what we'll, uh, what we'll say np dot unique and then we'll say x comma return underscore c okay or say the first return index is equal to true comma so it will whatever we have done in a separate manner we found a return count in uh, one step again we found the return index in one step here you can find it directly in one step the the count of each value and also the occurrence at which position similarly for two dimensional array how we will apply so save time i'll simply copy and paste it here and then i'll simply pass here y what is my y so y is a 2d array and also you can see the occurrence of each element and also the 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 count of each elements here then we have task number 13 is return count return index and return inverse with 1d array okay so i'll say similar thing return counts return index and return inverse now return count this is nothing but the return counts okay return this is like the return counts this is the index position where is my value uh, at is at which position the very first occurrence now this return inverse it will actually help me to build my array again if i want this is nothing but the uh, index position okay where it is actually lying so if you see this is nothing but my index values okay how it will work i'll tell you see this one will be correspond to one two is corresponding to two okay this one and one again corresponding to one again three is corresponding to three this two two three till five it is corresponding right after five my next value is how much 25 20 and 125 and 25 so 25 will actually after five it will become six 125 will become 7 and again this 25 will be 6 and the remaining other 0 and 4 will be as it is like this is how it will work here now after this the same thing we will apply with a 2d array but before that let's print the 2d array we'll say y this is my y okay and here also we'll say what is my 2d array now if you see here the occurrence 0 1 2 what are my elements 0 the unique elements are here are 0 1 2 3 4 5 8, right now this is the counts and this is the first occurrence of that value one has occurred first time in which position 0 1 2 so okay let's see what happens here is this is my the unique occurrence of element now what is this this value zero this is the first occurrence of each element 0 has occurred in the first time 0 1 2 and this is 3 now 
after this this one one where it has occurred one is occurred zero one two two now after this where where this is two occurred two occurred in the first positions then three then uh, three right where this three occurs zero one two three four five six seven in the seventh position five occurred in the zeroth position and eight occurred in the eighth position and this is what this value is okay what this value will be this will come in a sequence okay how it helps three five two one zero four one two three eight okay so what it happens here five two one the maximum number till here is five right so five two one it simply follows a sequence after uh, uh, like five if there is no element and the next element is six eight it will not consider eight it will consider it as a six because this is the uh, array which will help to rebuild my array again now to get the count of each element in a 2d array so what i will say i'll say simply unique comma count is equals to np dot unique okay now here i will print unique this is my unique values okay and then here what i'll, I'll say counts here i will say np dot as array inside this i'll say unique comma counts so you you can see here right zero instead of using the like this is what we are building ourselves so this is like uh, if you use the pandas uh, get values it will be similar to that okay zero is occur one time one is occur two times two is occur two times and so on okay now if you are not happy with this uh, horizontal representation so you can further copy this okay paste it here and then just simply you can transpose it now you can this will make more sense zero is zero is occurring once one is occurring two times two is occurring two times three is occurring one time four is occurring one five is one and eight is one time now I want to preserve uh, when see here whatever value when we are applying the the okay let's see this when we are applying here the value of y is how much five two one zero four one but when we are getting the array okay just using the return index we are not getting the order I want to preserve the order like five should come at the beginning then followed by two the very first count of two the very first count of one and so on so how do we achieve that so this is nothing but my but my 1d array now what i want is i want this order 1 2 3 5 25 125 0 4 okay i don't want it to be the in the sorted order how do we achieve this for this i'll say unique comma index is equals to np dot unique and then inside this will pass x comma because it's a 1d array x and i'll say return underscore index is equal to true okay after this i'll check the value of index zero occurs as the 13th position four has occurred at the 14th position zero one two three four so these are the nothing but the index position of each value after this what we'll do we'll say np dot sort and say index so this is the value okay and then we will say x and you can see the original order which i was talking about one two now these values are repeated after that i will get three and then again all these values are repeated after this i have five one twenty five five twenty five one twenty five i will not take this twenty five and then zero and four all right so this is how we will can preserve the original order now after that remove the duplicate rows this is my this is my array okay and if i you can see here there are two duplicate rows here like one duplicate one to one is a two. how do we achieve this so we'll, we'll say np dot unique and then we'll say x1 comma axis is equal to zero so you can see so one to one the row is gone and then we can see here the next task is how to remove the duplicate column so this is my actual uh, array and you can see here there are two duplicate columns like one duplicate column one three one 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 three one 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 four one six so we need to remove one of these columns. so we'll say np dot uh, unique and then inside this we'll pass the x1 
comma and then we will say we'll say axis is equal to one so you can see here the duplicate column is gone after this we need to remove the duplicate rows and column just one single step so this is my what i will say here np dot unique x1 comma axis is equal to zero if i say this my duplicate rows is gone and after this if i say np dot unique x1 comma axis is equals to to one my duplicate column is gone but i do i want this both the steps to be done in one uh, single line so i'll say np dot unique and inside that again now what i'll say np dot unique and inside this i'll say x1 comma axis is equals to one and here i'll say axis is equals to zero so you can see here in one step my both rows and column duplicate rows and column is being removed now how we task number 20 is how do we count the unique values using numpy x stack i have already shown you but again if you want to use the numpy x stack even i have uh, shown that also in one of my previous videos so this is my value right one dra i'll say count one is equals to e dot unique and inside this i'll say x comma is equal to true okay so what is my count one and now what i'll say i'll say final underscore count is equals to np dot column stack and inside this we'll say count one okay and here i'll say final i'll print we can see here the count of each values we can like the zero has occurred one times one has occurred three times two has occurred four times using the column stack after this the last task of the day is i don't want to use the numpy at all okay in that case how we will get the unique values okay so for that i'll say from collection import uh, counters and then i'll say i'll say counter of x okay so you can see here instead of using the numpy unique you can use this also one has occurred three times okay one has occurred three times zero has occurred one time two has occurred four times three has occurred two times simply and also you can get the count separately so you can see here these are nothing but the keys right one two three five 25 so you can get the keys separately also and also you can get that count so that's it for the session in this session we have learned a lot about the numpy unique method right from the syntax of unique uh, unique uh, function from syntax to definition to uh, the the applying a unique method on a 1d array 2d array and we have also experimented with the different uh, parameters with like with return index for both 1d and 2d array and also we have seen what is return count what is return inverse what is axis equal to one what is axis equal to zero and there's so many things which we have covered so that's it for the session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and also please refer my videos to your to your friends so that will help me uh, a lot and i'll see you in my next video thank you